What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to look at the Texas Tech Air Raid Playbook in college football 25. This is Joe McGuire's offense. He's been at Texas Tech for, what, a two or three years. Hasn't really moved the needle there much, but I'm here to tell you, this playbook is a whole lot of fun. Now, you would think Air Raid, you know, we're just going to throw the ball short all the time. But this is a different kind of air raid playbook. I, I covered the generic or the alternate uh, air raid playbook. That's more true to the Mike Leach version. This one is just a little, has a little more variety of things and uh, a heavy emphasis on other types of concepts that you probably wouldn't think would be in this type of playbook. But we're going to go over the formations and concepts and play types and personnel. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a good idea of what this playbook is all about. So again, this is the air raid playbook. So kind of keep in mind, you're going to pass the ball quite a bit, but it's got some other cool things in it as well, including the different types of formations and personnel groupings. So I want to start off with the formations. Now, this playbook knows what it is. So in the past playbook videos, I've covered pro style and other spreads where you got a lot of variety in your formations. This one's not so much. This is pretty much a shotgun only playbook. You notice here, it's just a ton of shotgun. We got one pistol formation. You got 18 plays in it, so if you need a little pistol, you got at least a little bit of plays to work with. It's just a lot of run, play, action, RPO built on top of that. A lot of same side reads because you got your three wide receivers to the left right there. So kind of keep that in mind. But that's it. Look, it's just shotgun and pistol. There's nothing else in here. So we're going to spend the most of our time in the gun. And let's start off with the formations. We got wing slot offset. This is a 12 personnel look. Notice 80 and 12 are your two tight ends. Then you got double. So that's your only 12 personnel. Now let's get into the, your 11 personnel. I'll go ahead and tell you now, most people think air raid. They think four wide receivers quite a bit. There's not a whole lot of that in here. Hardly at all. This is an 11 personnel air raid playbook. Okay. And we're going to start off with gun doubles. You got 18 plays there. That's a two by two look. You got another two by two look with doubles offset week. Stack halfback week, normal flex close, and then we get into some trips versions. And we got Y trips week. You got Y off trips. You got Y off trips week. Then you got trips tight end offset. Then you get into trips Y over. This is kind of new for a quote unquote air raid offense, but they're in here. Then you got double stack. So notice number 12, you're tight end, so it's still 11 personnel. Then you got spread Y slot, spread Y flex. Then you got bunch open offset, and then you get trips. Now we finally get into a 10 personnel look, but then it goes right back to 11. There's number 12 again. So you got tray open, then you got empty bunch wide and empty Y flex. Those are still 11 personnel because look where your halfback and your tight end is at. And then we got bunch quads open. So notice we got a variety of empty formations, what, th three to be exact, which I think is pretty neat. So a lot of variety in the shotgun side of things, but in terms of personnel, not so much, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. I actually want to back off. I'm going to go over here and I want to talk about a few different formations. So normally what I like to do when I go through formations, I try to find series based stuff, pretty much your pre snap motion, things of that nature. That's a good way to find trends in these formations. So when you go through some of these, they got some unique stuff. So you notice we got a little series here where you got your tight end. Uh, doing a pre-snap motion where he goes in to the left and back over to the right. You got a zone split. You got PE slide off of that, and you got a counter off of that. I'm going to do the play action version of this. So this is, you probably would have thought, hey, let's run some air raid stuff, but oh no. They got other things in here too. So this is a nice little series to throw in here. If you're going to run a little 12 personnel, if I can get any type of pass protection whatsoever, but you got inside zone, you got play action on top of that. You got a counter built off that. So that's what I look for first. And now we got a jet sweep action out of this same formation. So you got six of those and then you go on to some other formations. You just go through here and try to find those. You got a jet sweep there. Get the doubles Y off or offset week. Go through here. There is stack halfback week. Normal. This is what I'm going to talk about here. We got a little alert motions. Uh, or you got an RPO alert bubble. I love these bubble RPOs. These things are just really nasty. I pretty much just read that slot corner. Let's see. We may get a block right there. We're going to get a decent gain here. That's just an easy read. Of course, you can read your safety looks. So you got a too high safety, but they're kind of down low. I don't know if we can get much running out of that. So I may just go ahead and throw this over to my X receiver like this, and hopefully you get decent blocking, a nice little spin right there, pick up a first down. 
Uh, but again, just a nice little unique series action right here with this formation with those three. You got a drop back to go with it. You got another uh, motion bubble. You got a backside tight end. Look, we got more. It's the same. We got six of these. All, all kind of look the same. And I love throwing this at defenses, giving them the same look. Uh, but to us, uh, it's the same for us. But just seeing that same action, I think it's just really neat. You got a wide trips week. Look, look at some of this. We got a reverse pass. You got a reverse on top of that. Really cool stuff in here. Just oddball things for it being a typical air raid playbook. You go to Y off trips. Uh, you look here. We got that uh, halfback swing motion is what I like to call it. You got stick. Stick is pretty typical air raid concept, and we'll cover those here in a little bit. You got more halfback motion there. You go to Y off trips week. Do we have any in here? Yes, we do. We got that same halfback swing look. Except it's at a Z spot for the in terms of your concepts. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. This is typical West Coast concept, but I think it does just as well. If I can get up the field, he got stuck on his route right there. But you got on the back side a smash concept. Technically, it's spot, but I call it smash. You go through here. Let's see. He's wide open. Look at that. Wide open. That's a killer safety beater. I love that stuff. Really cool. But again, it's all that pre-snap motion. So think air raid, but a lot of pre-snap motion built in. Trips tied in offset. You go to trips wide over. And there's another one I wanted to show you. It is, uh, here's another one. So spread wide slot. This is your orbit uh, orbit motion from the slot receiver. You got three of those right here. So you got a play a P a cross. That's technically Y cross in the air raid world. But you got a basic swing. The swings are super simple. These are RPOs. Like we got a too high look. I may just hand this one off, but nope. I like the switch. So I'm going to go over here. Can we get good blocking? Eh, it's not bad. We're going to get some yards out of it. Really good stuff right there, though. But again, it's a sexier version of the air raid. That's kind of the way I like to call this. You got a screen action on top of that. Just really neat stuff in here. I really like it. Jet touch pass as well. You go to some other formations. You got another jet sweep. You got a bunch of open offsets, trips. There was another one. I think it's an empty formation. I'm just going to go through this real quickly just to show you. Again, this is what I suggest you do. You go through these by formation and look for those series-based stuff. So here we go. Empty Y flex, another swing series. You got a swing. You got a mid screen on top of that, which I think is a really unique setup right there. Then you got a flake screen wheel. On top of that, then we got more stuff. Guess what? More orbit motion. This time you got a wide corner, a verticals, and a wide corner. So wide corners is like the most popular air raid smash concept. It's just a flag route with a little hitch underneath it or a slant of some sort uh, or a dig like you see with orbit wide corner on the right. Really neat. And there's not a lot of empty formations that have... Uh, motion in it. So I'm going to go look up against nickel. That's fine. So it looks like we got a too high look. I'll probably just read the right side here. See if I can make this look halfway decent. Oh, that's going to get picked off. I read that one incorrectly, but he caught it anyways. Oh, he dropped it. Either way, really cool stuff. I mean, I just think it's really neat. You got a little sexy window dressing to throw at him. And then you run your basic stuff on top of that. Just really cool stuff. I really like it. So let's back out of here. You go to bunch quads open. There's not many playbooks that have this one. Uh, it's just another weird formation thrown in, but you got those three empty formations. So again, this is all shotgun. Again, you got the one pistol, but we're all here for the shotgun, but a lot of different ways to go about doing it. So let's talk about the personnel. We've already covered a little bit of this, and this is very limited. Again, what did I say earlier? This playbook knows what it is. It's a shotgun playbook. It also is very limited in the personnel. So when it comes to 11 personnel, this is what you got. You could probably use some sub packages, like in probably in a couple of these where you could get four wide receivers out there. But notice there's that number 12. He's everywhere. There's just tons of them in there. Go line, that's your 23, your 32 is your QB Neal. Your 21 is your clock management, and your 12 personnel is one. You got literally one formation of 12 personnel. And you literally just have one 10 personnel formation, and that is gun trip. So you would think you'd have a lot more of this in an air raid playbook, but oh no. 95% of it is 11 personnel, so you got to keep that in mind. Think air raid, but you want your tight end involved heavily.
Okay, now let's talk about concepts. Let's go up to your runs. Notice your number of plays across the board. This isn't the biggest playbook in the world. It's not as big as like some pro style playbooks, but there's more than enough in here to have fun. Now let's talk about your basic inside or run plays. You got six powers. You got one ISO. You got four counters. You got nine draws. This should be typical in an air raid playbook. You're going to pass a lot, so you're going to have draw to mix in with that. I think draws work pretty well in this game. Now, forgive me if I had to make it look bad in this one. Again, I'm running this live. But hopefully the blocking is halfway decent. You can pick up some decent yards. But this is just a good little change up, especially if you got a good light box. Now, here we got a terrible box. we got a, close to seven guys in the box with a one high safety. This probably isn't going to work very well because we just don't have enough blockers to block for us. But if you see that two high safety look, with about, I don't know, six guys in the box, you can make this work. So we may be able to get this one to work halfway decent. If I can get to the outside, and we can get about four or five yards there. That's not too bad. Either way, definitely use draw if you're going to pass a lot in this playbook, which I know you will. You got 11 inside zones. That's pretty typical for any spread-ish playbook. You got five outside zones. You got one sweep and you got one reverse. So the bulk of this will be inside zone and draw for you. Uh, you could throw in a little power counter if you wanted, if you just like to have some of that. But I think you will probably keep your uh, run game simple by just doing basic inside zones and draws. Let's talk about options. Notice we got more options than runs. Why would we have so many options in an air raid playbook? Well, this is a very uh, screen heavy playbook. So we're starting off with RPO alerts. We got 16 of these. What I suggest you do is think of these RPOs as screenplays. Yes, we all know that these are screenplays by default, but the way this playbook works, there's just a ton of them in here. So you got 16 RPO alerts. You got one inverted veer. You got one load option, eight reads. That's going to be your main uh Op, pure option concept if you're going to run the ball with your quarterback and only one speed that goes back to your load. Then you go RPO read. You got nine of these. But again, what are these? They're all screens in a sense. And you got 11 peaks. So you add in 11. You got nine there. And you got 16 there. So that is what, 26? Actually, that is what, 30? Uh, yeah, that is 20. No, that's, oh, I'm really off on that. So 11 and nine, that's 20. That is 36 RPOs. 36 screens that are RPO based. Okay, so keep that number in mind. 30 plus RPOs that are all screen based. Okay, so let's talk about the quick pass. You got seven Ohio's. That's actually kind of a high number. If you like to go with an out route underneath, there's plenty of it in here. But notice some of these are very air raid ish. Y sail and stick, verticals. Things of that nature, more verticals. You got three Omaha's, you got two scants, you got seven slants, but notice with most of these slants, what do you see over here? What's on the right? Stick. What's over here? Spot, that's Y corner. What's slant Y corner? That's Y corner. And then you got stick. That just screams air raid. You got three spacings and you got seven other sticks as well. So stick is going to be your go-to here, but you can also mix in some of these slants that have those built-in Y corners and other sticks as well. Let's go to medium pass. You got 15 curls. If you like to curl flat, you got eight mesh air raid. What do we do here? We run mesh. We run mesh and we run some more mesh. You got eight choices. And every time you got a route that's got an option route of some sort, they're going to put it here. You got five doubles. You got six drives. What's drive? It is a dig with a drag underneath. That's just more drags, which is similar to mesh. Then you got five levels. Look at these levels. Look at goal line unders. What's that? I'm seeing a lot of drags. More drags. What's PA digs on the left? Another drag with a dig on top of it. You got two pivots. You got a couple Salem's. You got five shell across. Guess what? That's same as drive, except you got the dig going the opposite way. But it's still just more drags. Just really cool stuff in here. I'm going to go ahead and select Y shell across because I really enjoy this type of concept. Let's see if I can make this look halfway decent. Going to get some easy yards here. Real easy yards. Just a good middle of the field read, more or less. Really nasty stuff. So you're going to run a lot of drags, a lot of digs, and you're going to do that via mesh, shallow cross, and then drive. We also got some slot cross. This is technically like Y cross in a sense, where you got the slot uh, doing a crosser of some sort. You got 29 smash, but keep this in mind. So basic smash, think of your classic hitch with a flag right under, uh, on top of it, like angle smash there. But if you go through some of these, you're going to notice Y corner. Pretty typical. You got more basic smash, and you got another Y corner. 
more wide corner. And guess what? You got more wide corner with some screens built on top of it. And we got, guess what? More wide corner. This is your go-to smash concept right here. Wide corner. Live it, breathe it. I think you'll really enjoy it. Again, it's an air raid playbook. It should be in here. Then you got seven spots. Got a little West Coast action. Of course, the air raid came from the West Coast offense in a sense. So this is just more wide corner if you'd rather have a spot route than a dig or a little uh, slant, I should say. Then you got one Texas. So you, this is the bulk of your passing attack. It's going to be from your mesh, your shallow cross, your drive, your spot, and definitely your smash where you got all that wide corner stuff. And guess what? You got a bunch of curl built in with it. Just a lot of good stuff. You go to deep pass, quite a bit of stuff in here. We got 20 verticals. That's, I think, the most I've seen in any playbook up to this point. We've got a good variety here. Look at Vert's Z Fin. Interesting route combination there. Uh, I really like the ones that has like a drag underneath it, like that X drag. All goes pretty good. It's kind of like a Y uh, option type of deal. Uh, these are the same way with that halfback running an option route. Just really nasty stuff. I really like this trips version. I'm going to go ahead and go up against this one. Let's see if I can make this work halfway decent. He's No, he's not wide open. That's a pick six. I didn't see that corner. Good job, defense. But really cool if you're into the verticals. This playbook is definitely for you. And I... My bad. I didn't I try to hit the button hard and it didn't work. But really good stuff in here. Plenty of verticals. This is your main deep passing concept. All right. Then you got six floods. You got eight comebacks. If you're a comeback guy, I'm, I am. I really like those. You got daggers. You got seven of those. That's more dig and shallow. Look at PA dagger. What's that look like to you? That's shallow cross. PA dagger on the left. That's more shallow cross. Motion PA cross. That's Y cross. It's these same ones over and over and over again. You look at some of these other ones that we don't have a whole lot in there. You got seven meals. But notice what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a lot of shallow cross. I'm still seeing more shallow cross. And there's a tons of it. Then you got nine shot plays. Just think more deep stuff for the most part. And you got nine switches. If you like the little switch concept, you got several of them in here as well. Even with Z shallow, what is that? That's shallow cross with switch built into it. Again, it's the same five or six routes kind of built off the top of each other. We got a little bit of play action, not a whole lot. Of course, we got more play action on the play type side, but you got five boots. You got two slides. So let's talk about these screens. So this is what I was talking about earlier with those RPOs. So we had what? 36 RPOs. Here are most of these RPOs, as you see right here. Uh, those are the bubbles. You got flanker screens. You got 13 flanker screens slash wide receiver screens. Then you got mid screens. You got three of those. So when you go over to play types, this is what I really want to cover. You go to passing. You go over here to play action or uh, to your screens. We got 25 total true screens. Just think non-RPO. So when you add in 25 of these screens plus 36 of those RPOs, that gives you what? 60 screenplays in this playbook. This is the screen and shoot. So if everybody knows when my uh, Syracuse dynasty, I ran at the screen and shoot. That's like a, a, an offense of my own doing. Pretty much just a lot of deep ball stuff with screens underneath it. This is the closest to a screen and shoot playbook as I have found so far. Just so many screens. If you want the basic screens, you have tons of them. If you want to do RPO screens, you got tons of them. This is why you call this playbook or use it for all these screens and all that deep passing with all the air raid thrown in. Just really cool. So I'm going to go over to uh, runs. Just go over these real quickly. We got 20 inside handoffs. That's going to be the bulk of it for your uh, run game. Either that, it's going to be your draws. You got nine there. You got a couple QB runs. If you need it, but I doubt you'll ever use it. You go to options. This is not an option playbook. You're not meant to run the quarterback a whole lot in this one, so do not use this playbook if you want to run with a quarterback. And again, all those RPOs, treat these as screens. That's the way I look at them, at least with this playbook. You throw in all those basic screens, a lot with all of these. You have more screens than you know what to do with. Then that is it for the playbook. So what is this? This is an air raid offense with a lot of window dressing, a lot of pre-snap motion, a lot of 11 personnel. But the bulk of this is going to be about screens. All of these right here, all of the basic screens. Then you got your concepts. You got your air raid. So think air raid, a lot of screens, a lot of vertical stuff, especially with these verticals. And you kind of get the idea of what this playbook is all about. Really cool. I like that it knows what it is. It's 11 personnel. We're going to throw the ball over the field, but we're going to do it our own special way. And I think you're really going to enjoy it. 
All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.